Hello, Math 9. Okay, today we are going to go over this homework quiz for Chapter 7. So this will be your answer key to watch and see if you were thinking the exact same thing. And then you'll be able to see ones that you got wrong and change those in your mind, why the answers are the way they are. So here we go. Number one, you are thinking on these all the time, number times number. So seven times four is what we're thinking. So 28. And I'm actually not going to put an arrow like that. We're just thinking number times number and then letter times letter. So x to the one times x to the one. They stay the same at the exponents, so we'll get x to the two. Then number divided by number, so 16, letter divided by letter. So x to the four divided by x to the one is x to the four take away one, so remember, Base are the same at the exponents, base are the same at the exponents, base are the same, and we keep the common base. So the x stays, and we have x to the 3. Then y to the 1 divided by y to the 1 cancels out and is just 1. We don't need to write that, <clears throat> and we're done for that one. Okay, this, when it is in brackets, this whole thing has to multiply into both terms. So now we'll do number times number, 6, letter times letter, r squared. Put in your little ones if they're helpful for you. Then number times number, so 2 times negative 2, that negative stays with this term, so negative 4, letter times letter. So there's no R's to go together. There's no M's to go together. It's just one of the R's, one of the M's. And you may write that in the reverse order. It's the same thing. Okay, number four. And these have to both be divided by the X. So you're thinking here and here. So number divided by number, we still have two x squared divided by x is just x to the 1. Number divided by number plus 8. x divided by x is just 1, so we don't need to write that. And then the y is still left. Number 5, k divided by 5k. And if we write it like a fraction, Lots of you did that, and then you did this, which is right, but remember, when you divide something by itself, it is a 1. So we do have a 1 left on top, and we have to keep it there, and then the 5 is still on the bottom. So 1 fifth. Number 6. This I would rewrite a little bit, and I think it would be more helpful for you. So if you did four, 3 fourths, times x and times negative 8x, and this is over 1, and this is over 1, and now it's a little more obvious, divide by 4, divide by 4, we've got negative 2, and now number times number, negative 6, letter times letter, x squared, or on your calculator, you could have just gone number times number, because that's the parts that need to go together, those two. Okay, this has to go into both. And these can all divide by 2. So that will eliminate the denominator. And we'll get 6 divided by 2 is 3. The w squared stays. Plus 4w minus 5. Number eight, this negative seven has to come into both terms, has to multiply into both terms. So number times number, and you have a negative one. So negative times negative will be positive and seven. So seven y, and then negative seven times a positive one is negative seven. Number nine, 
a number divided by number, so that'll give us 9. Letter divided by letter, and pi is a number or a symbol. So either way you think of it, it's we're looking at it together, and it will cancel. And we don't need to write the 1. R's, R squared divided by R, will be just R. This one, when we look, we can divide these both by something, but we really can't divide them into each other. So I'm going to show you two ways, because some of you did divide it in and left it exact, which will work. This, we can divide all of these by 2, so let's do that. 9, this will divide by 2 and give us 4, negative 6 divided by 2 is plus 10, and they can all divide by m, so divide by m, divide by m, divide by m, divide by m, and now I've got 4m squared minus 6m plus 10 all over 9, and that is exactly fine to leave it like that. Some of you um, divided this 9 into all of the terms, and that is also appropriate. You'll get 0.4 repeating. You have to have the repeating, or it's not the same, because if you just put 0.4 or 0 0.44, 0 0.4 would be 4 tenths, not 4 ninths. And 0.44 would be 44 over 100, not 44 over 99 or not 4 ninths. So here we go. 0.4 repeating m squared minus, this is 2 thirds, so 0.6 repeating m plus, this will be 1.1 repeating. Leave it in this fraction format. That is the more commonly used, but I did give you correct marks for that. Okay, I hope this helps. Be good. Keep working. You're doing good, and it's so important. Talk to you later.